What's going on guys? Thought I would share with you today a little tutorial for uh, those using or utilizing um, GeForce uh, Shadow Play. Um, this specifically applies to those that are actually using it with um, USB mics. Uh, it doesn't appear to happen with the analog 3.5mm uh, uh, mics, but it only seems to happen with the USB mics. So what, what essentially happens, either either using it for instant replay or if you're just using it to record or broadcast. Actually, I've never tested it with broadcast, but at least for record and uh, instant replay, there appears to be static on the uh, right channel uh, of your mic. So if you set up your, your mic to run on one channel, so running your mic on one channel will have your exact same voice on both your headphones, both left side and right side, um, you will have some static on the right hand side of your uh, your headspo headphones or speaker in that case. Um, this seems to have been introduced since version I I forget the entire version numbering, but I know it finishes in seven either dot seven four or dot seven six. So this was not an issue in the past, and they seem to have introduced it, and a lot of people have bringing it up on the uh, Nvidia um, forums. And uh, they have yet to actually resolve this issue. So um, doing a bit of research, a lot of people are saying, okay, well, um, you know, go ahead and run it with uh, Premiere or Final Cuts or, or whatever and copy over the correct channel onto the right-hand channel. But th the thing is, I don't think everybody here has necessarily Premiere or everybody necessarily wants to use Premiere whenever they're copying over uh, any kind of gameplay. So uh, I did find another solution to this problem. Uh, this does require uh, the installation of software, but... It's not uh, it's it's not a payware. It's a donationware software, and I highly recommend uh, people get it if they have, if they're running into this issue. Um, what is it again? It is uh, audio virtual cable. That is here we are. Um, so VB is uh, VB Audio is actually the company that uh, creates or uh, runs voice meters. So for those that stream often uh, are able to filter out what they hear versus what the stream hears, you'll, you'll see a lot of people that are using uh, voice meter or voice meter version banana, which is a little bit more advanced. All their software is donationware, so you don't you don't have to pay anything up front. I highly recommend if you do use it, though, to, uh, to send them a few bucks their way because it's, it's really useful uh, software. What we're using in this case, though, is the virtual cable. It's a virtual audio cable. So what it ends up being is in your recording devices and po uh, possibly uh, playback devices as well, you will get, where do we have here? So you'll get like additional entries here where I have speaker VB audio virtual cable, speaker VB audio voice meter auxiliary, and uh, voice meter uh, VAIO. So um, these are here because of voice meter, and this is here because of the audio, uh, the audio cable. And the reason that you're actually seeing audio here is because of how I've set it up. So I'll show you exactly how that happened. So essentially go to this, uh, I'll probably put this in the description, um, go to this website. Uh, it's not really clear that this is a call to action here, but you click on this link and then you have the download link for the uh, the donationware software, which is just a driver. Uh, it doesn't actually, there's no real GUI to it. Uh, it's all through the, um, the uh, volume mixer that you manage this. So what you do once it's installed is you'll want to go to your recording devices and select your mic. So in my case, I'm using um, I'm using a uh, Audio Technica mic through my Focusrite uh, XLR. Um, what you want to do in this case is you want to go to the properties and you want to select Listen. And this is where it, it this is where the magic happens. Really, is that you want to set, check off the Listen to device. And you want to select the VB Audio virtual cable that you've just installed. Now here, for some reason, it just appears a speaker because that's that's how Windows interprets that it's going to play back. But the important part is between brackets here, between the parentheses, you want to have VB Audio virtual cable. Set that up. I've already applied it, so I don't need to click on that. You click on OK. And now you can see the input on this one and on the virtual cable going on at the same time. Now, once you've had you have that set up, you go into your options. Uh, that's usually through Alt Z. You go to your mic options, go to customize. Now I have it set up right now in um, uh, with the uh, audio cable. If I go back to my standard mic, you're going to start hearing for a few instances. I'm not going to actually leave it for very long, but you're going to hear um, the static on the right channel. So I think I have to save it. So now there's a bit of static. It's not. I, I've heard some other examples of it. It's been. It's, it's completely intolerable. It's very, very loud on the right hand, uh, on the the right channel. For some reason, mine is not so bad. Uh, still not really happy with it though. So I just go ahead and always bring this back 
to the audio vir uh, the uh, virtual cable that is. Save that. Everything is running, and then you can go ahead and and save your uh, your gameplay, and you will not have any of this audio issues. I don't know how long it's going to take them to fix it, but for the time being, just stick with it, and um, and you'll be fine with this. So I the only thing I'm not sure about though is if you reboot Windows, you may need to come back in here, go back to listen, and then set this back up with the listen checked off. Uh, otherwise, that's all you need to do, and you're going to be fine with uh, with your uh, your videos that you're recording uh, through either uh, instant replay or uh, manual uh, record. So I hope uh, that helps you guys out, and uh, see you guys later.